My name is Alicia Logue. I am a faculty member at the University of Texas Health in San Antonio. I'm a board certified colon and rectal surgeon. I received my training in general surgery originally and then subsequently did a fellowship in minimally invasive as well as colon and rectal surgery. Colon and rectal cancer is one of the most commonly seen cancers in the United States. It develops in the large intestine, which is the colon and rectum, first from a polyp. A polyp is a small overgrowth. It's actually thought to be slow growing. Over a series of years, polyps develop multiple damaging mutations that allow them to become larger and more aggressive. Once a polyp develops invasive features, that means it can spread to other organs outside of where it originated, which in the definition is cancer. When we meet a patient with colon and rectal cancer, our first goal is to surgically cure them of the cancer. That re means removing all of the tissue involved with cancer and not leaving any disease behind. If the cancer hasn't spread to other organs, then we oftentimes will start with a robotic removal of the cancer. I'm a big enthusiast for the robot because that means we could use small incisions that allow us to introduce camera and tools that's like me getting to use my hands inside the person's body. This allows for a much faster recovery, shorter hospital stay, and shorter time for the person to be able to do all the activities they enjoy. A good candidate for curative surgery is somebody whose disease is not spread to organs outside of the colon and who we could remove the entirety of the tumor without leaving any disease behind. Prior to offering surgery, we make sure a patient has all of the necessary staging imaging, which may include things like a CAT scan or an MRI. We also evaluate their overall health status as well as your blood work and make sure that other modifiable health risk factors such as high blood pressure, heart disease, or diabetes are modified prior to proceeding with surgery. If the patient otherwise looks like they're a good candidate and then we can offer them a cure, then we proceed to robotic surgery. Staging for colon and rectal cancer is extremely important. We know that patients with early stage disease have a very high chance that they're cured with surgical removal of the cancer alone. Sometimes in early stage disease, the only thing that's required is just us going in and removing the cancer and no further treatment with chemotherapy or radiation will be required. In some cases, patients may present to us with the tumor of the colon as well as a relatively small amount of cancer elsewhere such as the liver. In those cases, we still may offer surgery first prior to giving any sort of therapy like cancer radiation. However, the treatment and the chance for us to be able to cure the patient is much better and much less complicated when cancer is caught early or in when it's an early stage. The benefits of colorectal cancer surgery is for many years we've known that it's the best chance for us to be able to cure a patient of their cancer. The earlier we catch colon and rectal cancer, the better the chances we have of being able to remove the disease without the patient needing to have any further therapy and their long-term survival and quality of life is much better. Patients should choose the Mays Cancer Center for their cancer care because we have everything it takes to provide excellent subspecialty expertise and collaboration, as well as state-of-the-art resources to give you the best cancer care possible.